Good morning, good morning. Back here with another truck video. This one would be the AMT Diamond Rio and the AMT Log Trailer. Uh, somewhat modified on there. Um, I stretched the frame out to about 270 inch wheelbase. And wheelbase is the base the truck sets on or where the tires touch the ground. And on a truck you measure from the center of the steering axle to the center of the tandems or the spring mount that's in between the duals. And uh, come back around here and built a water tank on there. Modern day log trucks don't have water tanks very much anymore. You just don't see them. Uh, the reason they had them on the old ones is because they had smaller engines and the jake brakes, if they had them at all, it didn't hold back like the new ones do. And that pressures up off the truck's air system, and it can put 125 pounds of air in there. Get the brakes hot, you get out and spray them down with a hose and cool them off. Because you've got a lot of logs on, the last thing you want is a brake fire or, and set them, them logs on fire. And then I got the chains there on the back. Those are the breakaway chains for the trailer and the flags. Uh, put the a second set of quarter fenders out of the truck on there when i stretch a truck i like to use the same truck same frame that way everything looks like it came from the factory that way all the bolts line up and all the the stuff that's on the side of the chassis that's molded into it i also do my splices like in behind a fuel tank or a cross member or something that way you can't ever see where they were stretched and then you come around here and i put in with magic marker the diamond rio and uh lettered the timber wolf name that's the name of the truck uh, and added the stacks of course i got my cb antennas again the battery boxes are off the w900 kenworth and you got a the chain boxes on the back get some close-ups here uh a log truck you don't actually have the load on the floor of a trailer because there is no floor it rides on the bunks, those uprights that are on there. That's what the load rides on, on both the truck and the trailer. Yeah, and the trailer too. And then uh, the little black thread on there that you can see, uh, that's button thread on the model. On a real truck, that'd be either cable or chain. And then what it does is keep those uprights from going spraddle legged with the load of logs on there. Get a good shot of the mud flaps there. That's just silver magic marker uh, outlining the detail on the flaps. Uh, it's a Roadrunner, and then Peerless is the name. That's the brand name that makes the truck. Then Scratch made the flags. Uh, the pinnel hook, that's where the trailer hooks, because log trucks don't use a fifth wheel like a regular semi does. It hooks onto the back of the trailer there. I kept the Dayton or spoke wheels on this. I usually put aluminum wheels on all my trucks, but being this is about a 70s vintage, I wanted to kind of keep it for the time period. Uh, then you got the, I put chrome tape on the fuel tanks there to represent the straps. Added the, the chrome, or actually aluminum, polished aluminum tubing for the stacks. And we'll get some close-up shots of the interior. Oh, there's the air hoses and the electrical line that run up the trailer. And there's some more breakaway chains on there. I just left them hanging down so you could see them against the hoses. And we'll see if we can't get a close-up shot of the interior. I don't know if this truck will do it or not. Because on this one, the windows are all one-piece glass. So it's not open on the side like the other models are. But maybe it will focus. And if you look real close, you can see the gauges. They are, they are uh, painted in there, but it's hard to see them. Because that glass or that clear plastic uh, makes such a glare on there. There's a good shot of the headache rack and more chain and the water tank and the chain boxes on there. Come back around, get another shot of the flaps. Let's see if we can get that interior from the passenger side and see what happens. Uh, the frame, the paint on the frame is uh, Krylon uh, Rich Plum with clear coat. And the yellow is 1214 testers with also clear coat. See if we can get it to focus in on the interior from this side. I don't know if it'll... Eh, somewhat. It ain't real good, but you can kind of see in there. But yeah, that's, that's Timberwolf, folks. 
I want to thank you all again for the nice compliments and picked up some more subscribers this week. And let me know what you all think. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with another one. So take care. Have a good one.